my country people them i get some fantastic news this one now sugar news too sweet in fact after when i listen to this news maybe when i go get diabetes and if when i get diabetes maybe when i know sue me anyways so i'll be talking about the latest update for tapang ivo your lawsuit so we still wait for that court make it send tapang ivo your summons guess what they don't send tapang ivo you summons and i why that i want to make this short video today for explain when i wait it will happen next and for talk about the summons so the summons where the court is sent for tapang ivo it be very short and very sweet now only two pages the talk say the united states district court for the northern district of california the case it be between jane doe and john doe when are the plaintiffs versus Tapang Ivo Tanku, when are the defendant? Case number 5 colon 18 dash CV dash 07721. Summons in a civil action. Then they get Tapang Ivo Tanku address 5055 Dent Avenue, apartment number 97, San Jose, California. Then the summons letter, it continues. It talks, say, a lawsuit has been filed against you. Within 21 days after service of this summons on you, you must serve on the plaintiff an answer to the attached complaint or a motion under the rules of the civil procedure. The answer or the motion must be served on the plaintiff's attorney and then they give barrister and salary, your law firm and your address. And then the talk say, if you fail to respond, judgment by default will be entered against you for the relief demanded in the complaint. You also must file your answer or motion with the court. And then the, the, the court clerk is signed up. It talks to your name now, Suzanne Sung. is signed up and then dated yesterday. The 31st of January 2019. Okay, okay, my country people then. So what does this mean? This one means that the court, it don't officially notify Tapang Ivo. It don't serve you. It don't give you notice. Say this, so a lawsuit has been filed against you. And you get 21 days for respond. You must give answer. And that answer, it must go to Barastan Salai. And that answer, it must also go to the court. So in need for fine lawyer. Now so, as we talk, Tapang need for fine lawyer for draft the own um, response to this summons. When I go see kind, kind fundraising, because <laughs> lawyer, they're not cheap. Unless, unless it find one way, it go work for you for free. That one is business. But it go find lawyer where it go draft the own answer for talk, say, yes, I plead guilty or no, I plead not guilty. So if you plead not guilty and then the court now, it go move forward for fine day, put day where they go then come together now, they, they start the discovery period. And then after the discovery period, they go sit down and, and convene a jury after the jury selection process. And then now they go start the court trial because the Baristan Salai, they don't request for a trial. And then now for just revisit the actual court case for try to explain what they happen for Nana say. If now look at the court case, it talks say the complaint. It been now for damages and injunction and declaratory relief. The nine charges where they charge it, now say number one, they say for personal injury and wrongful death, and now the same with number two and number three. Number four, now Rico, when now racketeering and corrupt organizations, them where's the corrupt organization? A D F. And if Tapang Ivo it go plead guilty to this lawsuit, it go bring down the whole of the ADF and it go bring down the whole of Amazonia in the diaspora. Now, which that I will not get to understand. So now, number six, now liability for aiding and abetting acts of international terrorism. Number seven, liability for conspiring in the furtherance of acts of international terrorism. Number eight, now, provision of material support to terrorists in the violation of U.S. Criminal Code 2339 Alpha. Number nine, negligent infliction of emotional distress. And as I don't talk, this court case is the demand for a jury trial. So this one now, now my opinion. My opinion now say, Tapang Ivo, ego plead not guilty. Ego one fight this lawsuit. And ego ask for help. 
from all the so-called activism in the diaspora, like all these other ones, them Eric Tato, people the way they cosh cosh each other. Time don't reach now where they could come together because they're all criminal together. They could come together now for raise money for give Tapang Ivo Migo defend itself because they know I'm saying this. So if they lose this this uh, law, lawsuit, it could bring down the whole of Amazonians in the diaspora. Because if you look at the lawsuit, it talks say providing material support to terrorists in violation of U.S. Criminal Code 2339 Alpha. If they plead guilty to this one, it will bring down the whole of the ADF because now the ADF, it represents them. And now the ADF, it will provide that material support. It will also bring down all the activities of the IG. Where it means today, so if any other person, Chris Anu, Eric Tato, Mark Barretta, they go out there on social media, Ayabachu and all of them, they go to preach for raise money for for sponsor or for fund Amber Boys them. Then this lawsuit, this same case, it will come back against all of them. Now, why that way it be very important for them? Say so they will defend themselves, or at least they will try to defend themselves against this lawsuit. And they will go for court. They will go answer. They will go answer questions them about the comments the way you don't make them tapang Ivo publicly. On Facebook and everywhere else. Now, why that way? It'd be very important that so we preserve all those uh, threats the way they will make them. All those inciting terrorism. The Facebook live videos the way they will make them. We get them all. And we will play them all for that court. The jury will see them. And then we will show them the injuries the way they don't cause them for people. Them. The beheadings. The, the kidnapping for ransom. How they go chapier people them for CDC, for TICO and every all the other atrocities them. All those Terrorist videos, them, the child soldiers, them, and all those things, them, the evidence that way we will gather them. We will show that jury for America, for that court. They will see all those things and then we will talk, say, now the words, them, they were just man be used them. Use yourself, if it talk, say, it be not general, if it call yourself general, Ivo. I will play the video when I say them for ourselves. My country people, them, asaloto, when I come good. This one, namasa tapan Ivo. Thank you. We don't come again to come broke this big victory on behalf of every single Southern Cameroonian. That means I speak here as General Ivo. My country people, they must salute to when I come good. This one, not General. Master Tapang Ivo. Thank you. My country people, then. There are consequences for inciting terror in Cameroon. All the atrocities. Tapang Ivo is just the first to taste it. We will go after the rest of them. Mark Barretta, Eric Tato, Ayabacho Lucas, not to mention Akwanga, the warlord. Even that village clown, Franklin Vela, where I yes, it don't exit the, the struggle now. We are coming for all of you. All the things that you said to incite violence in Cameroon. The people that have died. The properties that have been destroyed. The lives that have been ruined. The children that could not go to school. People that have amputated limbs. The beheadings. The terrorism. There are consequences.